Hi, I'm Andrew Mangabat, and I'm here at the 2015 Electus Fair at the high school. This is a brand new fair to show off all the available electives that you can take at the high school. Right now we're going to walk around to some of the electives and see what they have to offer. Let's take a look. Kaylee Horton and Sarah Burns are part of the music program at the high school. And Kaylee, can you tell us some of the bands that you're in and explain them? Well, I'm currently in almost all of them. I'm in the jazz band, marching band, wind ensemble, and concert band. I join bands because of the people, because they are always there. They're your band fam. They got your back all the time. I get out of it like emotional release and nice family that's always there for you even when yours isn't. And now Sarah, can you just briefly describe what a typical concert band day period looks like? Well, we'll go in and we'll warm up and then we'll play through all of our songs for the upcoming concert and Mr. McAdams will treat us on what we need to work on and uh, what we need help with and we'll also, uh, he'll give us pieces of music to practice over the weekend and through the days. And then and what have you learned both musically and non-musically about being in a concert band? Well, from being in a concert band? Musically, I think I've just overall learned how to play better and uh, make notes flow because that's what I had a real problem with in eighth grade. And coming into this music program really made me feel better about how I played and it didn't make me feel as um, it helped me gain confidence and outside of music I learned to be more social and make new friends and have a good time. Alright, so that was Sarah Burns and Kaylee Horton of the music program. I'm here with Emily Lolly who is taking drawing and painting and is Miss Lisa's teacher's associate. Now, can you describe a typical drawing painting course? So drawing and painting covers everything from abstract drawing and painting to realistic techniques so that you can um, kind of increase your skills and just learn about all the different things that, um, all the different mediums that you can use from charcoal and graphite all the way up to acrylic paints and even drawing on some unusual substrates like wood and trace paper and stuff like that. Now, in a more general topic, can you describe the other art electives available at the high school? Absolutely. So there's lots of different paths you can take. There's two main paths. The first one is anything, or if you want to take more advanced art classes. You'd start with the intro to art, and then you'd move on to art two, art three, all the way up to art major or AP Studio Art. If you're just looking for a quick little semester course or something like that, there's other electives that you can take, like sculpture, ceramics, drawing and painting, art history, and digital photography. All right, thank you very much. Thank you. I'm here with Emily Holmberg, who is a sophomore and currently enrolled in the Child Development Elective. Now, why did you take Child Development? I took child development because I'm interested in becoming a teacher and it's important to learn about how kids develop and like proper ways to treat them so they develop like more efficiently and like how you should treat them when you're teaching kids. And describe a typical child development class. Um, we do like interactive projects. Two days a week, the, we have preschoolers at the high school and they come and we get to work with them. And we do different projects themed for what they're learning. And at first they were like kind of insecure with us, but they've become like a lot more, like they've gotten to know us and they're very comfortable around us now. Thank you, Emily. I'm here with Jana Klan, who is currently enrolled in multivariable calculus. AP Calculus A, B, and B, C are prerequisite for this course. Now, Jan, what do you do in calculus? Calculus, um, specifically the AP courses, we spend basically all year preparing for the AP course, and like it's not any different from any other AP course. Once you take the test, you do well on it, you're gonna get credit for college. Um, 
that's basically the main focus of the year. It's a high level math, university level. And why did you take AP Calculus? Um, since there's such a focus on STEM related courses in uh, education nowadays, it's these courses that will actually secure you a safe career path when you go to university. Um, I'm also pretty good at math, therefore I take the best I can. Now, if continuity implies differentiability, is the converse true? No. All right, thank you. Kaylee Quinn is a student who takes AP Chem. And Kaylee, why did you take AP Chem? I took AP Chem because I wanted to expand my knowledge on chemistry. Uh, it's really interesting and it, take, it takes a lot of time and effort, but you really learn the way the world works and other stuff like that. And now, what topics does it cover other than the ones that are taken in a typical ninth grade chemistry course? In ninth grade chemistry, you really touch on like the bare minimum, like the basics of chemistry, which is really good foundational stuff. But then in AP Chem, you expand upon it and learn. We learn organic chemistry. We learn like uh, we learn intermoleculars, titrations, reactions, everything about how the way the world works. Uh, it's really important for like understanding the way the world works around you. I mean, you can apply it to everyday life and everything you do. It's really, I love it. And what is your favorite topic that you've covered so far, and why? I think it's going to have to be organic chemistry, just because I liked the visuals of drawing the molecules and understanding like how that applies to real life, because organic chem is everywhere uh, throughout the world today. And it's just, I think it's amazing. It's really cool. All right, thank you so much.